protect, keeps the iris from prolapsing uh, during the procedure and also keeps it well dilated. It's easy to um, strip out the poster sneak in. Now I'm going to put in the, the Clark Horseshoe. The Clark Horseshoe comes in in a very controlled state and it folds very gently. And you can see in the upper and then top of the eyelets, unhook it from the iris, as you can see I'm doing here. So the, the other eyelets, positioning eyelets, and just remove it very gently from the eye, just as this. As you can see it comes out just like. So here we have a second case. This is a uh, iris that's constricted down after femtosecond laser uh, capsulotomy and, and uh, segmentation of the nucleus. The inserter here is used, the, the intragular lens inserter is now used here. And you can see it comes out, catches the distal iris and opens it up. We currently use a smaller injector than this and it's much more controlled. Uh, but this case shows you the basics of how the Clark horseshoe is used. And you tuck it under the wing, the wings and now you get a nice uh, six to seven millimeter pupil that comes down after phacal mulsification and lens insertion. We're going to remove the iris, uh, Clark iris dilator. And uh, this shows you the lens is situated. It easily fits into that range. We're going to catch one of the distal portions of the uh, fenestration and the iris dilator is removed very easily.